Hey, what is Marie? This is your boy, No One Shot, coming at you with yet another Star Trek fleet command video. Today, they released a slew of new officers for the transporter pattern store, which is going to be a awesome addition to the game. We'll give you more choices on what to use your transporter patterns for in, well, Star Trek fleet command. And don't forget, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification right below that leave a comment don't forget to check out my discord which is listed in the description and i do have donation links listed down below paypal cash and venmo and i do stream on twitch monday wednesday and friday from 1 to 2 30 pacific standard time all right guys let's hop into the video let's look at echo's announcement first so right here let's i can't zoom in but down here at the bottom it says want to let everyone know transporter pattern officers are being added as we speak they, this will go live Today, officers will be added are 411, Barkley, aka Broccoli, John Luke Picard, Tendi, LaForge, and Deanna Troy. We're also aware of some malfunctions of cloaking devices, yada, yada, yada. I'm glad they actually are addressing the malfunction of the cloaking. That was something I heard about a few days ago. But as we look in our transporter pattern store, hopefully you guys can see it because, well, they are currently in the transporter pattern store. So if we go to our recruits, we go down here. All the way to the right. It's gonna be our first few officers. So we have Tendi, Jordi LaForge, Jean-Luc Picard. Wait, Jordi. Yep. Uh Broccoli. Barkley. Uh 411 and Dana Troy. I'm like, I'm thinking like, is Mariner new? No, I didn't read Mariner off. I always I don't pay attention to her being there, even though she's a great lower deck officer. So let's take a look at the officers as we look at them right away. So I should have pulled the website up as we speak, but our first one we're looking at is Tendi. And Tendi is a great lower deck officer because if you see right here, it gives you 100% to your whole health. And as I look her up on stfc.space, as I look her up, sorry, I'm a little disorganized. Her abilities go from, so we're looking at a lower deck ability is from 75 initially, so I'm at 100, so mine's tier two. So 75 initially, 100, 135, 170 and 215 that is a great 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 addition for her. her other ability i don't really care for she's obviously else but she's a great one to have on her deck especially if you want to have more hull health which means you can take a harder pounding from the hostiles next is jory laforge jory laforge is a loot officer when you're looking at it and let me grab laforge for us he is a loot officer. Uh, is this the right one? Yep. So as we look at his base is increases or rewards by 50%. Your ships received from Armada targets. He's a loot officer for Armadas. So if you want to use him as a secondary, third, or whatever officer for loot, as long as you can know you can take down those hostiles, you can bump it up. Especially if you do, um, well, like bev and maybe like picard on the side picard's gonna be mainly for your uh crit damage or crits and bev's gonna be for your mitigation so it'll even it out which will probably boost them to like 75 maybe 100 percent bump and then the other ones if you're going against klingon hostiles and targets that's all it is so jordy's another great buy if you want another officer kind of like that but picard is one of my favorite ones because i use them normally let me grab picard Jean-Luc Picard. So I use him normally in general because of his ability is like Pike, is like Strange New World Pike, is 20 plus 20 effective all bridge officer abilities in active and combat. So combat abilities get a bump, which gives you an increase. And on top of that, you have engage, which is 10% to your crit damage. It starts at 5%, goes to 10, 15, 20, 25. He's basically your con, but he's not cumulative. And as I'm speaking about the officer, and I, I use them for armadas, I'll give you an example of what I use for armadas. So we go right here to my Hekthaw, and right here we have John Luke Picard, Eurydice, your your Dicey, whatever you want to call her, and then we have Bev. So he increases each one. So he's a great one to have for just armadas. He's a musket, in my opinion. And we're going to go to our next officer, which is going to be looking like, oh, not the buy store, officer. And we click right here. Wait for the game to load. Go down to the officers. We were just looking at Jean Luc Picard. And we're going to look at Broccoli. Barkley. Broccoli. Barkley. Whatever you want to call them is going to be one of my favorite, especially if you're a miner or, well, if you want to keep more of your cargo, to be honest. So I grab Broccoli, Broccoli, Barkley, whatever. So his officer ability ain't the greatest. It's 5% the base defense. And it goes from 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, right? 
And then his other one is, uh, his start is base protection card goes 30. It goes with 45, 60, 80, 100, depending on his ring. To me, he's a must get, especially for like mining Mondays. You're running your fichas, you're running your miners. To keep more of the cargo means you can be on the no longer and not have to worry about someone sniping you or hitting you OPC or depending on what you're doing, depending on how your server row is. So to me, he's another must get. So Picard and Broccoli, Barkley, whatever you want to call him. And then we have 411. So 411 is a mining base officer. Gives you 60 plus 60 percent to your orb mining cool and cargo size. He's basically Ston. Ston, but the other side. He's a secondary get, in my opinion. Broccoli first, then him if you're going for mining officers. And he pre he goes pretty good. Um, I can look him up right now. Four. I gotta type four because the game doesn't like me typing anything else. He starts to 40, goes to 45, 50, 55, and 60, which increases your cargo capacity, especially if you're running like you're going on your Malgum. You want to double up that with Ston and Ston. We'll help you out, but it really doesn't matter with Malgum because you're basing it off of Bator, but Bator, whatever her name is. And then our last but not least is Deanna Troy. So let me grab reference. Troy, if I remember right, is our Mata based officer. I'm coming off the top of my head for that one. So it says 50%, negative 50%. Chance of Armada targets causing crit chance, which is cool. The lesser chance you get, I'm not really a fan. Some people use her, I don't for Armadas. She's just an epic officer, she's a stat officer for me. I don't use her for anything else, but that is me personally. People have their opinions on what they use. I want to hear if you use her in your Armadas, but then you have damage against Romulan hostiles and armadas which will help you out but we already have our pv crews we don't need an extra one when it comes down to it so if we're looking at officers dana is a least on my list so if i'm to personally get officers it's gonna be john Lee picard it's gonna be tendy of course um laforge is a secondary in my opinion broccoli is one of the ones i want to get right away um 411 is a secondary dana troy is a third or fourth down the list in my opinion she's not the one that like i must have Picard is a must upgrade or a must have. Uh, Barkley is a must have and a must upgrade. And Tendi is a must have and must upgrade. Jordy should be a secondary if I ever use them. And the rest are really not worth my effort. 411 is like one of those ones in the background I'll do later. And Deanna Troy is the ones in the background I'll do later since we have a plethora of officers to upgrade. We always have to pick what officer takes the most important to get an upgrade to help our gameplay be that much greater all right guys it is no one shall signing out don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell notification down below remember below that don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget there are donation links listed down below at paypal cash up and venmo cash up and venmo are both listed under no one shall remember my zell you have to pm me for and remember this is my main source of income so if you guys do want to help out please do so anything would be greatly appreciated and don't forget i stream on switch monday wednesday friday for a month 1 to 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys, it is no shout. Sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.